Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to run Airflow on Docker. So first of all, what we do is uh, type this run Airflow on Docker on your Google search, then open this top link. Now we need to follow this documentation. First, uh, so there are two steps. The step one is to install Docker Community Edition. So you can open this link uh, and you can download uh, for Windows because we are doing this for Windows this time and you can accept all cookies. So once you download, you need to double click and install as you do for other software. So it's simple step. Uh, after that, uh, what you need to do is you need to install Docker or Compose. But when you install uh, Docker desktop for Windows, uh, Docker Compose comes with it in a package. So you don't need to install. So it separate it. So what you need to do is uh, now scroll down. Now we need this Docker Compose.yml file for Airflow. Uh, and we can go to this link. Uh, if you have a uh, curl installed on your system, you can run your curl command to get this file. But what we do is we can copy this link uh, and we can paste it here and open this link. Now we need to save this file. Uh, control uh, save as. Okay, we need it for now. Let's say install it here in this Airflow directory where uh, that I created on my desktop. You can name whatever you want. So let's go there. Uh, it's uh, It shows as a .txt file, but we need .yml file. So what I can do is I can rename it and remove this .txt extension so it will become dot yml file so now what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, open this folder in visual studio code or whatever editor you want so i have this on my desktop add now you can see docker compose.yml. Now we need to run command. And for that, uh, we press control and tilde sign. So it opens up the terminal. Now everything is written here in the documentation. So what we need to do is for basic startup. Uh, yeah. We need to set this uh, uh, environment variable. And for that, what we can do is we can create new file with .env extension and paste this thing here and then save the file and you, we can close it. Next, what we need to do is we can run this command now for initializing all the airflow related containers. So we can run here, paste and press enter. Now it will install all the airflow related containers. Oh, it's, it is giving me error. So my Docker is not running. So let me start the Docker desktop. Okay. Now it's running. Let's see. Starting the Docker engine. Once it's done, I will run that command again. Yes, now we can run it. Docker compose up airflow in it. Now it's pulling all the containers and this command will run all the com containers after pulling it from the repo.
Uh, okay, so sometimes it gives you an error that doc uh, Airflow containers required four GB of memory. So, but you but you are using three point eight or something less than four GB. So what you need to do in that case, you go to this Windows Explorer, uh, then go to your C drive, then go to your users, then your user uh, in which you are logged in and working with Azure. Oh, sorry, Docker. Uh, now here, you what you need to do, you need to create this file. If you uh, don't have this file, what you do is you go here, uh, new, and then create this text document with dot WSL config as an extension and no file name. So once you create it, I have already created it. I'm just showing you uh, what you need to do. You need to open this and you need to type these two lines WSL in this uh, in the square brackets and memory is equals to 5 GB. I tried with 4 GB, but it didn't work out. So I gave it 5 GB. Uh, now it's working fine. Uh, so if you face that problem, you can fix using these two lines and then just save the file and come back to uh, uh, your editor editor, and then run Airflow init command uh, with Docker Compose up and it should work fine for you. Now, now you can see it has run our container here in containers we can see that our containers are running okay let's see what happens now so database migrating done so it's finalizing things for us okay all done and now if we want to start our containers and we can uh, we want to access the web uh, ui for uh, airflow we go here and we copy this command uh, you can see now you can run start all your services so here paste this and run Now it will start uh, each and every service for us. Uh, and once all are up, we can access Airflow. And what we can do is we can type localhost port 8080 as it's a default port for Airflow. It will take some time because all the services are being triggered. It might take some time. Let's wait and see. Okay, so as you can see, it has started all the services. Let's leave the refresh. Uh, not should work, or it might take some more time. Mm. So it takes some time. Let's wait and see. So as you can see, it has triggered all the services for us and now it's working. Airflow is working on Docker's and we are we are not running it on uh, Ubuntu as it was running in the last few videos. So it's running on Docker is now. Now the default username that Docker provides is Airflow and the password is same Airflow. And now you can log in as you could 
uh, log in before. Uh, okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, I will come with more, more exciting videos uh, later on. Uh, so until then, uh, goodbye. Thank you.